Good morning, YouTube. Do you want an easy trick for summer entertaining, but you don't want to work too hard? Because <laughs> I never do. All right, I'm going to show you how to make a super classic and super simple pineapple boat for your fruit salad. It's easy. You're going to like this one. You're not supposed to take my raspberries. One. Uh huh. And what was that? One. And? One. And? One. <laughs> So, uh... Oh, were you filming? Yes. You cut that out. I think it's funny. Alright, so we are making a fruit salad. And I thought I would show y'all something fun. Uh, middle of summer, kids are home. And they're sleeping in. So sometimes I think it's fun to have something a little bit special for them when they get up. So I've got this big old fat pineapple. And all I'm doing is cutting off a thin slice off one side, see? And the only reason I'm doing that is so that it will f sit flat and not rock after we fill it. All right, so this is pretty much just the outside uh, skin. I, it was really super thin or slice. All right, so then on this side, you don't want to cut off these leaves. That's part of what makes it fun and what makes it showy. So on this side, I'm cutting much closer to the leaves. I'm going to take a deeper slice, okay? And again, you're going straight down through it. So here's what you end up with. You have this nice fat slice. You have this part, right? And here's where we're going to start trimming out our pineapple, okay? So to do that, we're going to trace our knife and just make squares, okay? And you want to really go around the edge and loosen all that up but you're going to try not to go all the way through the bottom now if you do it is not the end of the world trust me if it were the world would have ended the first time I made one <laughs> and it did not okay it's just not that big a deal what will happen is your container will leak a little bit and in that case you simply put it on a platter to contain any juices that come out the bottom and if you decorate your finished platter with fruit around the outside of it, boom, you're good to go. Alright, so look, I made stripey cuts. Now I'm coming across this way. Nope, see, look, I just went all the way through. <laughs> and some of this will come out super easy. Some of it we're going to have to go dig for. All right, so over here, let me show you a couple other things because I'm going to start dumping this pineapple in with some other stuff. So right here, I have one of those little pint containers of raspberries. Yum. And then this is what Ricky was going after. Here's half a cup of fresh blueberries. Maybe a little bit more than half a cup. This is a cup of green grapes. And I, I, I cut these in half. So they are like that. Grapes will release some of their juices. Mmm. Those are good grapes. A cup of sliced strawberries. Strawberries and blueberries and raspberries are all in season right now, which means they're everywhere. They're inexpensive, especially the blueberries because we're growing those. <laughs> all right. So there's a couple ways you can go about doing this. I'm going to try this method. I end up using the scooper thingy um, anyway, but in this case, I'm treating it almost like a melon baller, and just those squares I cut, we're just scooping them out. Now, the part of your pineapple that is the core, which is this stripe down here through the middle, that's going to be a little bit tougher. Tougher. <laughs> and it's not the most pleasant to eat. So, if you take your knife and you guys go diagonally under that center section just to lift out the part of your pineapple that is the core, 
your results will be a lot better. Okay. So like this is a core part and this, see, see, this is a core part. This is not a core part. This is nice and soft and yummy core part, hard and tough and fibrous. And once you get the first one of those out, the rest of them come out more easily. So, boop, boop. and then you can go back to scooping. The core is really only about, I don't know, inch, inch in diameter. It's really not that big. But if you feel it with your knife, you can tell because your melon baller will go through parts of it that are the nice soft ripe fruit. And it's gonna meet a lot of resistance with the core. See, so this, now that I've got the core out, we're doing a lot better. Now, the other thing you might notice is that your pineapple is gonna start as you're, as you're scooping it out, oh, here's a core part. As you're scooping it out, you may find that your pineapple releases a lot of juices. I know that anytime I'm cutting a pineapple just like into slices or rings or whatever, you end up with a ton of juices all over the cutting board. Um, don't let those go to waste. This one doesn't seem to have all that much juice. It could, probably could be a bit riper. Uh, but if you do end up with a lot of juice in here, so hang on to that, drizzle that into your bowl with the rest of the fruit. All right, that piece had half a part of core and half a bite for me. Mm, perfect. Okay, so here's what we're looking like. Keep going until you get that completely hollowed out. And we're scooting him over here. I'm going to show you how to dress this. I'm not gonna make you watch me do that last little bit. But, so here's how we're gonna dress our fruit salad. So here's everything in the bowl. And we've got a fresh lime. And we're gonna just ah, roll it. Okay, that helps release the juices. And then we're gonna cut him in half. <laughs> if we had a decent knife. I need a blade in the wake up so I can sharpen my knives. And then we're just gonna squeeze this lime juice, fresh lime juice, straight over the top of this. Now, part of this is gonna depend on how you like yours. We love lime juice. So I will use the entire lime. If you don't love lime juice so much, use half. I'm gonna use half the lime, use the other half or something else, okay? And I know that this next part it's not necessarily perfectly ideal, but I have a couple ounces of honey and I just warmed the honey in the microwave so it would drizzle well. And that goes over the top. You can leave the honey out. You know, you could theoretically use white sugar. That's what my mother and my grandmother would have done. Not my favorite, so, you know. All right, so give me just a second. I'm gonna finish hollowing out this pineapple I'm also going to pull as much fruit out of this part as I can and toss the skin. And I'll come back and show you how to finish all that up. Alrighty. So we got our pineapple. Ta-da! Hollowed out. I can't promise there's not a hole in the bottom. That's why I put mine on a butter. <laughs> I have done that plenty of times where I didn't screw up and go all the way through. And I've done it plenty of times where I have. And like I said, the world does not come to an end. I got, just got one more kid come up. So I've got, how many kids I got awake now? Two? All right, so I've got several more that we're waiting on, but I thought it'd be fun if we had something a little bit different, a little bit special, a little bit fun. Okay, so here we go with our fruit salad. See, we just toss it all together, just like that. Now, if you want to, you can add some um, fresh mint, right? Mmm, my kids tend not to be as crazy about that. So most of the time I will leave it out unless I'm doing it for other people. And then this is literally all you do. Boom. Pile it high. Oh, I'm making a mess. Imagine that. I love how pretty all these colors are. The blueberries and the raspberries and the strawberries up against that uh, the yellow of the pineapple and I'm throwing stuff everywhere. I'm not moving fast enough. You can hear there's a kid foraging behind me. 
So pile this as high as you want. Oop, that blueberry's gonna run away. Ta-da. That's all there is to it. If you want to, you can take some little blueberries. <sighs> How come I always get a phone call? Okay, wait a minute. All right. So there we go, guys. That's how you do a pineapple boat. It is great for picnics and summertime and baby showers and bridal showers and, I don't know, sprinkles. Salad showers. Salad showers. That's right. That's a great idea. And there we go. You can also put just about anything in it you can think of. <laughs> I am not going to get a break. All right, here we go. Let me quick taste. Because we know it looks pretty. Mmm. Ooh, and it tastes perfect. Yeah, try that one, y'all. That one's a winner. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. And if you thought that video was helpful, do me a huge favor. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. And if you have a second, hop on over to Patreon and check out how to support my channel even more. Again, thanks for watching.